thing on? We good? Okay. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are decorating my kitchen and dining room for Christmas. I love a cozy Christmas kitchen and a beautiful tablescape. I'm adding a lot of pops of red this year. I'm just so excited to share with you guys what I came up with. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I will link everything that I can down below. Make sure you are subscribed if you are not already because next video is going to be my living room. It is going to be Scandinavian cabin and I'm just Oh, I'm so excited to get started on that and show you. Give this video a thumbs up if you love decorating for Christmas and let's go ahead and get started. So we are starting with kind of a mess in here. I do have an idea of where everything is going to go, but yeah, I usually just start out by laying out all of my options. I love this Christmas dish set that I picked up last year from Home Goods. I haven't been able to find any more pieces, but I feel like I have most of the set already. So that's gonna be going up here. All of my decor that was in my kitchen, I took down so it looks just so plain and empty in here. So let's jazz this up a little bit. Actually, I do have this wreath up here. So far, that is my only piece of Christmas decor that I put up. The rest is going up today, so let's turn this boring kitchen into something a lot more cozy and festive. Oh my goodness, it is so weird to see my kitchen looking this naked. You know I always have it decorated and I rarely undecorate it this much, but my vision for my Christmas decor called for a super clean slate because trust me, we are doing the most in here this year. At least for me, it seems like way more color than I've ever done before. First, we'll be putting together some Christmas glass canisters, and a great hack for this is to use a plastic cup directly in the middle. This way, you end up using less candy and still have the look of a full canister. And now we have a simple, affordable pop of Christmas decor for our kitchen. And then for my bigger two, I'm filling with sugar about a quarter of the way and creating a little village using these really cute house ornaments I found last year and also some bottle brush trees. I love the look of these three next to each other by my KitchenAid. It just gives me all of the Christmas cookie decorating vibes. I'm using a copper bowl in my KitchenAid and then going ahead and filling it with our favorite Christmas cookie cutters so we can just see them and access them a lot easier. I worry about the weather
A sweet subscriber sent this beautiful marmalade jar to me for Christmas. I thought that was the sweetest gesture and I was so thankful and I love the style of font and also that it's red. So I figured it would be perfect just to pop a little tree inside for a vintage Christmas look. Waiting for snow And each day I feel better I don't know if anyone remembers when I bought this Mackenzie Child's teapot over the summer, but I had wanted one for years and was so excited to finally get it. But when I put it on my stove, all I saw was Christmas. So finally, it is the season and I can display her right here on my stove and I absolutely love how that looks. Been staring out my window, looking for a sign. Something to remind me of the place I left behind If you guys watched my front porch decorating video, then you will recognize this gorgeous wreath that I found at Home Depot. I picked up another one to go on my vent hood just because I love all of the color that it gives off. It's also pre-lit, which I love, and I thought this would just make such a pretty statement here in our kitchen. The really good thing about this wreath is that it's on a timer, so I won't have to keep climbing up here every evening to turn it on and off. My time of the year. There's a feeling I remember From the time when I was young On the last days of December Me and you and everyone We would run around the big house I had this random idea to add mini wreaths to my pendant lighting over the island. I love adding greenery to all of my lighting for Christmas time. I just think it gives such a cool look. And I used these two wreaths on my porch rocking chairs last year, and they ended up fitting these pendants perfectly. Where your cousins used to live And we do lots of things I know our folks would not forgive And you know, I wouldn't be me if I didn't create a couple vignettes on my island, so here we go. The first is going to use this crate that I found at Michael's a couple years ago, and then I'm using a cutting board just so I can set everything on top. This really pretty wreath with my new house and home tree, and also this vintage Santa cookie container. I think it turned out really cute and adds a really nice pop of color here. So every year I buy one of these pre-made gingerbread houses to kind of decorate with miles throughout the year. And I love getting these pre-made ones just because it's so much easier. I swear the hardest part about building a gingerbread house is just getting the walls up and the roof on and getting it to stay up. So this is from Target, you can buy them. Mine has them in the Wonder Shop, but also right by checkout. And then they come completely plain with the frosting. And then I just pick up candy and things and we just kind of work on it throughout the season. And I leave it right here. And I think it just is a really fun thing. It looks beautiful and it's like a fun little thing that Miles and I can do together. And last year, Michael sold these gingerbread picks. So I decided to put them on a festive plate to complete complete the look. Another place I love to add in greenery is on the back of my island chairs. So this year, in an effort to add in even more color, I'm hanging them with some ribbon. And this is the same one that I used on my front porch this year. I found it at Home Depot and I'm just cutting it to length and then trying to figure out how far I want it to hang down the back of the chair. So once I have a general idea of how much ribbon I'll need, I just use that piece as a guide to cut two more pieces for my other chairs.
And then I'm just using my handy dandy hot glue gun to attach the ends together. In past years, I felt very overwhelmed by ribbon and I thought it would overwhelm my space, but I think if you find something in the same color scheme as the rest of your decor, it can add a really soft and elevated look to your space. And just to balance out the right side of my back kitchen wall, I'm adding this simple wooden tree and it also covers up the outlets that are there, so that's also a win. The other vignette I'm putting together is by my sink and I'm using this wooden bowl, red ornaments, greenery, and a red lantern. I think this whole look makes such a statement and I love all of the different ornament styles together. I think it's just a really beautiful, sophisticated look. On top of my fridge, I'm using two light up birch trees and also just some bottle brush trees in various sizes. I like how the decor above the fridge is at the same level as the wreath and it just makes your space feel bigger when you add items that draw your eyes upward. I don't know what I want to do with this wall, but for now I'm switching out my platters that I had hanging here before for a red berry wreath and two Christmas plates all from Target. But after Christmas, I know I want to switch this area up and I'm thinking I might bring back that hanging wall ladder to hang some mugs. This year I'll think about how I'm so lucky to have a place that I can come home to. Yes, I am on for fall, I added stacked pumpkins on the shelf in my pantry and I loved the look and the pop of color, so I'm just adding in two trees here for Christmas. I found this stocking garland off of an Etsy shop last year and I remember it took so long to get here that I almost didn't get to use it to decorate with for Christmas and it's definitely in that primitive style, but I really, really love them. And I also moved my utensils over here just so it wouldn't look overly crowded by my stove. And then I'm using my dough bowl here with that same greenery that I used in my wooden bowl on my island and then those same ornaments. This peg rail is always fun to switch up seasonally and I usually just add a seasonal dish towel, some sort of greenery item, and then a wreath and I always think it looks so cute and it's just a fun thing to style for each season.
Okay, so here is my Christmas kitchen. Let me know what you think of it. Is it too much color or were you expecting more color? Let me know your thoughts down below. Moving on to my dining room, I'm excited to put my Christmas pottery pieces up that I found last year. And on the top, I have this beautiful chalk style sign from Kirkland's. And then I'm filling in the space on either side of it with more of those bottle brush trees. And just in case anyone's curious about those trees, I have been collecting them the last few years, but I believe that most of them are from Hobby Lobby. They always have a really good selection and they have the really tall ones, which I love of using on shelves and like on top of my fridge and places like that. I was really hoping to find more of these little plates to complete my set. For some reason, I only have three of them, but my home goods hasn't had them in stock, at least from what I've seen so far. But a few people have tagged me that they found them this year, so I'm still holding out some hope that my home goods will get them in stock. Yes, every time the snow I found this Santa pitcher at Goodwill over the summer and I think it's my favorite Santa pottery piece in my collection. It's just so cute. I plan to display the rest of my Santa collection and all of my Santa mugs over on my hutch this year. So if you wanna see that, that will be in another video, so stay tuned. And then I wanted to continue the garland look on all of the light fixtures, so I'm adding another one to my dining room chandelier. And then I found these big stars made out of almost like a cardstock material from Ikea last year. And I thought these would look really cool hung on my windows at various lengths. It kind of gives me snowflake vibe, but really ties in that Scandinavian look that I'm going for. My centerpiece, at least for now, is super simple. I'm using this vintage sleigh right on my table runner, and I might switch this out throughout the season, but for now, I really love the look, and it's easy to move out of the way to clean up after we eat dinner, unlike some of my more detailed tablescapes. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed today's kitchen and dining room Christmas decorating video. Make sure you are subscribed so you never miss a video, and I will see you in my next one. I hope you have an amazing day.